This is CNC World, a new perspective. Every Asian culture has its own way to express worship to the dragon, and in Malaysia, it mostly comes in the form of joss sticks. Burning joss sticks is an ancient ritual for Malaysians to pay tribute to their ancestors, as they consider themselves the descendants of dragons, and believe that in this way they can communicate with their gods in their mind better, so that their wishes can be fully answered. When it comes to the year of the dragon, which falls every twelve years, the ritual is grander than ever. We spoke to Lai Kim Kong, who has been in the joss stick business for 33 years. Lai and his brother own a 3,000 square feet joss stick factory in southern Malaysia. They make joss sticks of different sizes and sell them to incense shops and companies both inside and outside the country. The joss sticks are made of sandalwood powder and sawdust, which are blended and pasted to a stick with a special glue that is derived from the turtle tree. While the glue is drying up, craftsmen mold and paint the dragon as the design of the joss sticks. The most difficult part of the dragon making is its head. We have to compress it hard to make the lines and intricate details visible. The colors have to match. The teeth have to be cut symmetrically. The look of a dragon's head is so important that even after such a complicated process, it still takes two weeks for the paint to dry up. The size of Joss sticks span from as short as less than a foot to 30 feet tall. The retail prices of giant dragon joss sticks range from about 160 to 640 US dollars. 2012 is an auspicious yet very busy year for joss stick makers. They're hiking production by at least 30% in a year of dragon from previously, producing mostly dragon carved pillar sized joss sticks like these, which temples and religious devotees believe are sacredly efficacious. They come in different sizes and it's an arduous task to mold them. These 12 feet tall joss sticks, for example, took six months to complete. For joss stick makers, the business is not just for the Chinese New Year, but also a preparation for the annual Ghost Festival in July. Lai's 18-year-old son is helping him with the business. Even since Indonesia has opened up, we see a growing demand for dragon dust sticks there. That created a supply shortage in Malaysia, especially in July when dust sticks are easily sold out. Despite the popularity of joss sticks and the large market in Asia, it is hard to believe that the business is actually dying. Sadly, that is true. Higher prices of scarce raw materials and a lack of talented craftsmen are forcing many traditional joss stick businesses to shut down. There is a lack of manpower because fewer people are interested in making joss sticks. The government banned logging because of environmental concerns. So we are struggling with limited raw materials. Instead of taking over his father's business, Lai's son has decided to go to a college in Kuala Lumpur which is more likely to bring him a better future. It would be a problem to have the next generation taking over the business. I don't know what young people feel about this industry. I pity my son working here. He seems tired. I don't want him to work in this industry.
But letting traditional businesses to mellow out like this is a shame. I rely on foreign labor for now, which also means I have to spend more in training the new batch of workers when the contracts of the old batch ends. To make it worse, a growing number of temples in Malaysia are now discouraging the use of joss sticks simply because they harm the environment. The burning of giant sized dragon joss sticks is more of a full custom. We encourage people to light up less in view of the global warming. We discourage them to light up the giant dragon joss sticks. What matters is the pure intentions. But some pilgrims hold on to the tradition. I believe the dragon is the most auspicious animal in the 12th zodiac. It is a Chinese symbol, so I use bigger dragon joysticks to pray. So it would be more likely that the year of the dragon would bring more good. I wish my family and friends win smooth careers and for a peaceful world. We come here once a month at least, yeah, for prayer. Yeah, just to bring good luck and you know, uh, best of health for the families. Uh, longevity for my granny, which is my priority. Uh, best of health for my families and friends, and to you know, make sure that all things that I've done for this year, everything goes well. So, symbol of dragon in Chinese means that you know, uh, good luck. You know, so I hope this year will bring you know world peace for everybody. I mean, that's, you know, everybody will say that, you see, but I hope really because a lot of things, bad things happened for you know for last year. So I hope everything will go well for this year. I prayed for my family and friends, hopefully to obtain the best of luck for the year of the dragon. This year, I hope all goes well, peace with family, and the career advancement for my husband, and long-lasting relationship with friends. A temple caretaker said that the year of the dragon is expected to bring the temple a 25% increase of the pilgrims. The Anho Temple in the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur said it would see 250,000 visitors during the Chinese New Year holiday, compared with the number of 200,000 last year. Dragon is the starting point for Chinese faith. It's important because it's auspicious. We called emperors in ancient time dragons, and the ethnic Chinese call themselves the offspring of the dragon. For many, burning Joseph's Day is not just a ritual. It's more like a tradition, a moment that they share with the beloved.
This is CNC World, a new perspective.